This is such good news. The Alvarado High School Band was able to attend their end of the year banquet tonight thanks to community members who stepped up after a theft. Band booster volunteer Kristen Meyer has been arrested. She's accused of stealing $46,000 from the band booster club. For a few days, it looked like the band banquet would have to be canceled, but then the community stepped up. Fox Force Alex Boyer is in Alvarado tonight with more. Alex. Well, Steve, things are finally looking up for the band. You know, with zero money at their disposal, initially the band boosters had decided on holding a simple potluck here at the high school. But thanks to help from strangers, they were treated to a feast. We put all this on yesterday, getting it all ready for tonight. I think the kids will appreciate it. Billy Woodrich and his staff working overtime. This is some of the food we're going to be serving over at the banquet tonight. To get 175 pounds of brisket, ribs, and sausage ready to eat. I thought, man, if I can make a bunch of kids happy, you know, that's great. I got this whole motto, if you don't give, you don't get. Woodridge, who owns Billy Oaks Barbecue in Fort Worth, felt compelled to cook for the Alvarado Golden Warriors band members after hearing the band boosters treasurer, Kirsten Meyer, was arrested and charged, accused of stealing $46,000 from the fund. He and his staff delivered the food to the banquet personally. We're a big family, this community, and we pull together. Yeah. That's just what we do. Yeah. Rhonda Gilbert is the Band Boosters Communications Director. Gilbert also has two daughters in the band and says the organization has been flooded with calls from strangers wanting to help since the story first aired on Fox 4 News. My phone started blowing up. <laughs> Gilbert says the theft has been a learning experience for the Band Boosters. We are basically starting from scratch, mm -hmm. obviously, because we didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. So um, we're starting from square zero. We've made some changes to our bylaws and things to, to make sure that there's some more safeguards in place. I would like to welcome everyone to our band thank you this evening. But tonight, the focus is not on the financial loss, but rather on the community coming together to help the kids get the banquet they deserve. I'm actually really proud of our community. It's really amazing to see how we can come together when, you know, one part of it's in crisis. And this truly was a group effort. Uh, Risky's Barbecue and Barbecue on the Brazos uh, donated the uh, side dishes and also the flatware that was used tonight. Now, two banquet halls had actually offered up their venue, but the uh, band boosters decided to keep the uh, banquet right here at the high school as planned. Now, the community again continuing to step up and show uh, support tomorrow. If you'd like to help out, there is a car wash that's going to be held from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. You can check that out at the Brookshire parking lot right here in Alvarado. Steve. All right, Alex Boyer, people like nice stories. That was a nice one. Thank you very much.